A ball is kicked at an unknown angle to the horizontal. At the start, the velocity vector has a vertical component of 19.6 meters per second and a horizontal component of 5 meters per second. How high does the ball rise? What is the vertical xy position at the maximum height? Copyrighted material of George Matthew and HDTVEDU.com. Welcome to HDTVEDU.com, direct and simple education in seconds. You watch, you play, you pause, you learn. You watch, you play, you pause, you learn. Let us define positive x and positive y. x with a hat gives you the direction, y with a hat gives you the direction. Assume constant acceleration and no air resistance. Horizontal component is 5 meters per second. Vertical component is 19.6 meters per second. Horizontally, there is no acceleration. Vertically, there is the acceleration due to gravity pointing down. Let us define the initial position as point A. Let's define point B as the maximum height. At the maximum height, what do we know? We know that the vertical velocity is zero instantaneously at point B the vertical velocity is zero. Initial vertical velocity is equal to 19.6 meters per second. At point B we have the velocity final at the maximum height and that is equal to zero. At point B the vertical velocity is equal to zero. Do not forget if the vertical velocity was not zero, it would have gone even further up. So the fact that the vertical velocity is equal to zero means what? It cannot go up beyond that point. We know that the acceleration along the vertical is negative 9.8 meters per second per second. So from A to B, A is the initial point b is the final point and don't forget this is a and this is b at point b we have the maximum height we know the formula v final y squared is equal to v zero y squared plus two times acceleration along the vertical times delta y. What is the initial velocity along the vertical? 19.6 squared. 2 times acceleration along the vertical is negative 9.8. And what is delta y? Delta y is the height h. Let's do the algebra. We have an unknown h, so we have to solve for h. So this is as good as 0 equals 19.6 to the power of 2 minus 2 times 9.8 times h. So this is 19.6 squared minus 19.6 h. Divide throughout by 19.6 and what do we get? 0 divided by 19.6 is 0. 19.6 squared divided by 19.6 is 19.6 minus h. So what is h? h is equal to 19.6 meters. Let us look at the solution again from another point of view. If you don't know this, you just use the formula v final y is equal to v0y plus ayt. v final y is 0, v initial, v initial y is 19.6, acceleration along the vertical is negative 9.8 times t. So what do we get? 0 equals 19.6 minus 9.t or t is equal to 19.6 divided by 9.8 and that is 2 seconds. So we know the initial velocity along the vertical 
and that is 19.6 meters per second. We know the final velocity along the vertical, and that is zero at the maximum height. We know the time it took to reach the maximum height, and that is two seconds. What is the average velocity between initial point and the final point? It is velocity at point A along the vertical plus velocity at point B along the vertical divided by 2. That is your average velocity. Velocity at point A along the vertical, 19.6 meters per second. Velocity at B along the vertical is 0. Divided by 2 is 9.8 meters per second. That is your average velocity. With this average velocity, how long are we going? For 2 seconds. So we know the average velocity. We know the time. So what is the displacement? Average velocity times time. Average velocity is average velocity along the vertical from A to B. What is that? It is 9.8 meters per second. For how long? Time was 2 seconds. So what is our displacement? Delta Y from A to B. And that is average velocity along the vertical times time. What is the average velocity along the vertical between point A and point B? It is 9.8 meters per second. For how long? 2 seconds. So 19.6 meters. Now let us look at the horizontal situation. We already know that our projectile is at a position of 19.6 vertically. So what is the horizontal velocity? It's 5 meters per second. It doesn't change. Velocity along the horizontal remains the same forever. It is 5 meters per second because there is no acceleration along the x. That makes the velocity along the horizontal remain a constant at 5 meters per second. What is the time it takes to go from point A to point B? 2 seconds. So what is the displacement along the horizontal from point A to point B? It is average velocity along the horizontal times time. Because the velocity does not change, the average velocity is the starting horizontal velocity, x velocity of the projectile. It's 5 meters per second. For how long? 2 seconds. So what do we get? 10 meters. So what is the position of point B? With respect to point A, the x position is 10. What about the vertical position? It is 19.6 meters above point A, vertically above point A. So 10, 19.6. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck. Don't forget, you watch, you play, you pause, you learn.